And what is great about that flow, uh, Peter, is that the user is prompted with the available options that they have. So they don't even need to remember, oh, should I use you know, my email or password here? Or should I use my, my Google account and, and, and sign in with Google? Because they will be prompted with like, hey, like, you know, finish your sign in uh, for this app using the available account. And so it decreases the mental load that users have, and, and that should increase also user satisfaction, conversion rates, and so on. Yeah. Um, I mean, that is a constant challenge, right? So you come to a page, and then it offers this huge selection of, hey, you can sign in with email, with Google, with LinkedIn with whatever, right? And then you're like, well, what did I use to sign in here the last time? And that is, um, <laughs> you know, I don't know, like I've, uh, I think I've ended up accidentally creating new accounts because I forgot which, because I've forgotten that I've already signed in um, with Google, for example. Sometimes I have a connection you know, that I make. So for example, I know that for everything that is any sort of developer product, I sign in using my GitHub profile. So that is kind of easy. Um, but for many of the other ones, that is a super hard challenge. I mean, I use a, a cross-platform password manager, which has a feature now that says, well, you know, you can uh, even if you sign in using uh, um, a federated identity provider like sign in with Google or sign in with Apple, we will take note of what you chose. And then we can tell you next time you come to a page, hey, last time you signed in using Google. But obviously, that only works on the desktop browser. It doesn't work on mobile, uh, at least on iOS. I don't know if that would work on, on, on Android because maybe there is more, more ways to plug in. but. This feature here, that is fantastic, I think. Yeah, and it's good that you call out uh, other password managers that are not you know, the Google password manager. Uh, so Credential Manager, uh, starting on Android for Team, allows the integration with third-party password manager as well. So if you're using any of the you know, uh, password managers out there, and you enable it in settings, then you will see your passwords or also your pass keys if the app supports them. In the same, uh, you know, bottom sheet that that credential manager is displaying. Oh, that is fantastic! That is even better. I mean, that oh, lovely. <laughs> this is so great. 